Yes. It's about as heavy as my Brompton bag, actually, with all the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I'm now back in a Quattrovello, but well, this is the Quattrovello Plus, which is for big people. So the bonnet is a little bit higher, which is good because I can wear my Dr. Martin boots in here. <laughs> I can pedal, <laughs> which is amazing. So uh, very nice, yeah. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Roomy <sighs> Quattrovello Plus. It's a quattro velo, velo all over. Lots of room. Build quality is exceptional. There's loads of foot. It's just, it's just, I just like it. It's not the fastest velo in build, but I think it's one of the one of the better designs due to the four wheeled nature. It still feels slightly strange when I go over a bump. I'm still not used to the four wheels doing in, things independently, but I'll get used to it. One of my favourites. Just so nice to ride. Yeah, phenomenal. We've got uh, Alec Jacobs here and I'm just asking him a few questions. Um, what was his, well, just the first question basically is what was his inspiration uh, to come up with the design of the Quattro Velo Plus? And um, he's going to let us know now. Well, um, before the Quattro was there, we obviously, we had only three wheelers and mm -hmm. with a three wheeler, you always have this, a huge wheelbox right in the middle of where you want to put your luggage. Yes, annoying. <laughs> so it appealed to me that if you would have two wheels uh -huh. on the side of the body, there would be a nice place for luggage and the stability would improve mm -hmm. immensely. Yeah. And yeah, that's that's the two big advantages of having the four wheeler. So yeah. stability and luggage space. Yeah. The stability is quite important and the luggage space is and you can actually carry a child if uh, there's that's another added option and extra. Yeah. So brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant piece of design. <gasps> okay, so here we have the after seven. Strip down, super light, no seat in here. I think he's worried that we may ride off with it into the sunset if there's a seat in here. I mean, even the, look at the elbow rests, armrests. They're even minimum, minimal carbon fiber. The steerers, there's nothing to those. <laughs> this is a, uh, an interesting remedy for the bottom bracket. He's actually using fabric with a bolt. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the after seven. Uh, do you know how much this weighs? 18. 18 kilograms. So. For the lift test, apparently it's 18 kilograms, we will see. Yes. It's about as heavy as my Brompton bag, actually, with all the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And with a gigantic chain ring. It looks like a 80 tooth or something. Maybe, maybe more.
supposed to do now? Hey, what I'm supposed to do huh, and now? you talking all that shit. Now, come on, you gon' have to come back on, it up. Now you gon' have to back it up. If I get too high now, she could come on. I might never come down. I might never come down. So elevator people, those metal ones, that's their new, they do like a, a one with four wheels as well, with a boot. <laughs> no, that's the ocean. <coughs> Problems? Problems? <coughs> Problems? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just adjusting my brakes. You oh, know, okay. Uh, the Quest style. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all, I thought uh, you were just getting your sandwiches out or something. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm famous on YouTube. Yeah. YouTube <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> These empties. This is the DF, the guy who owns the company. That's his bike. Um, this is a new paint they're using. And yeah, he did it as a test and it's going to be a new colour as well. Morning. These uh, Spetsy is amazing. You have all these living sculptures at the show as well. Myself and Zach are about to take the Noddy car for a spin. Um, it should be interesting. It's amazing! <laughs> I'm going to do one more. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. This guy is the creator of this machine. It's absolutely awesome. And I'm surprised that it's, uh, it's not as much effort as I thought it was going to be. And um, if my son was, uh, was pedaling as well, it would, we would have been going even faster. But it's, it's quite easy to use. Hi. Hello. And what's your name? My name is Kai. Excellent. Place we'll take. Um, it's now over three years, mm -hmm. but part-time, of course, it's just a hobby. Mm -hmm. And my main influence is a Frenchman named Charles Moshe. Yes, the Maybe velo car. He's known. Mm -hmm. He built his famous, for me, famous velo cars. Mm -hmm. And was it after the after the war? Yeah. This was my inspiration mm -hmm. to build this. It's yeah. yeah. In my sense, in my taste. In my taste, more uh, fancy, mm -hmm. more streamlined, yeah. maybe more freaky or nerdy, mm -hmm. but that doesn't matter to me. And yeah, I can. You pull it towards you. Brakes on. <laughs> like a horse. Whoa! <laughs> so you can hear there are still some issues yeah, yeah. in the build. Yeah, but you can iron uh, those I have out. To test a lot of things. I enjoyed it. It's once you get going, it's lovely, and it's even with um, my son as a passenger, it rolls okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a mixture between a bike and a car, mm -hmm. so you not only mix the advantages, you only mix the drawbacks. Yeah. 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 Number three definitely will have. One side mounted wheels all around mm -hmm. because I, I realized mm -hmm. if I have a flat in the rear, um, I uh, need an uh, estimated half an hour to sort it. Excellent. So, um, yeah, thanks for the interview. Okay, so we're at the e parkour test track. Um, they have a fantastic test track here, and it's a lot better than uh, a lot bigger than the other one up at the main, main part of Spetsy. And as you can see, it goes all the way along for a long way and then you, it zigzags around so you can have a lot of fun. So we're going to see what we can take out and what the rules are and what we need to give them ID wise. <laughs> so we're now at the ice sprint tent and this uh, lovely gentleman here is fitting me up with a with this beast of a model. Um, should be fun. 
Thanks for your help. Uh, what's your name? My name's Drew. Drew. John, yeah. nice Hi to meet John. you. Yeah, so Excellent. What, Can you tell us a little bit about this machine I'm about to jump on? Yeah, absolutely. What we've got, we've got the Sprintex Tour here, yep. fitted with a Shimano Steps 8000. Oh, lovely. 504 watt hour battery on it. Fantastic. And yeah. that's coupled to an 1146 11 speed Shimano XT Di2 rear derailleur. Sounds great. Um, built for long distance day commuting, mm -hmm. riding, and touring. Is it a 250 watt mo motor on there? It is indeed, yeah. yeah. And what okay. we're also featuring is a brand new Ergo Lux Sprint Edition seat on this, which is brand new, launched a week ago Lovely. On, on the media by Brian Ball, mm -hmm. and it's first first physical out in expected. Thanks very much, great. No and this is the beast. Hey, we're now on the Ice Sprint X Adventure, and uh, yeah, very nice. Wow, the boost is really good. Straight up the hill, no problems. I'm going to try and find Zach because he's on track already. We're on full, full boost, 9.5 kilometers, and I've got all the wacky races coming. So this is the the parkour track test track, which is phenomenal. I'll keep out the way of everyone so they can zoom past. Hi. And it goes all the way round to the fort. This is Spetsy, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. And it's not raining. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, very comfortable. Great trike for touring. Time for me to uh, put the camera down and enjoy myself and just ride the bike. So this is my first ride in a long time on a nice trike and it's really nice. Well made. Great machine. You can tell that a lot of time and effort has gone into the production and even you know, the engineering on these, the quality product. Love it. So now that was the Ice Sprint Adventure X. We're going to try, see if I can get myself uh, one of the Haas's, uh, Haas of <laughs> Cat Weasel. I'm not sure, it's pretty busy here and I don't want to wait. Zach's on one anyway at the moment, so we'll film him going around. Oh, <laughs> How was that, Zach? What do you reckon? Fast. Oh, Pino. The, I rode the Ice Sprint Adventure. That one's really rapid. Need to ride I, I put it on. That's, the best one I've the fastest one. So we are now at the booth of Bici Capace, and they do a wonderful uh, cargo bike, which is uh, this one here. And we are here with Francesco. Francesco. The uh, John. And producer. Yeah, okay. the designer and producer, and. Valentina. Uh, Valentina, his wife. Nice to meet you, Valentina. <laughs> Excellent. So tell us a little bit, Francesco, about your machine. Yes. So uh, this is uh, just longer. Mm -hmm. uh, it means uh, that uh, it's uh, just a little longer than yeah. the classic uh, version. Uh, this is the first uh, Bici Capace burned in 2011. I remembered seeing this yeah. one. And uh, this is uh, um, burned in 2017, so three years ago. Mm -hmm. It's the same geometry, but uh, with a longer uh, tail. And so you can fit two children in here if you want to? Because yes, you have... this uh, can become a basket if you need uh, to do more shopping. Brilliant. Otherwise, uh, you can put uh, the children. As you can see here wow. in these uh, uh, photos, yes. uh, also three children, they can go on uh, alone mm -hmm. with uh, these uh, the foot, uh, running, yes. Yes, yeah. uh, running boards and uh, it's very stable because uh, the, the sturdy stand, yeah. the cushion, mm -hmm. there are the EF seat adapter so you can put uh, the EF yes, yes. one. And here is the core of the bicycle. This is the volume, 80 liters. Oh, wow. Integrated on the yes, uh, integrated on the bicycle. How is it fixed, attached? Is it fixed on the frame here with the four boards? Mm -hmm. So anti-tiff. Fantastic. Uh, 
Yes. I like the little pockets here. You can have your water bottles and bits yes, and bobs. Yes, uh, mobile phone, phone uh, yeah. locks, uh, and other keys. And uh, in a low gravity position, mm -hmm. this is the reason for the 20 inch uh, and wheel. To keep the weight, the weight low. Exactly, and the same uh, in the in the back. Brilliant. And you have a Shimano step. Steps. Yes. Um, the, the is new... there room on here to store? I suppose you could put a spare battery just in the bag there. Yeah, the battery is here. Yeah, and if you wanted to take a spare battery with you, you would just. Yes, you can put uh, inside in the front. or also here in the pocket. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes. And the, the frame is in chromoly steel, so yeah. it's uh, another feature Strong, of yeah. the bicycle. And yeah. Because the steel uh, is like a spring, uh, it's more mm -hmm. comfortable than yeah. aluminium. Yeah. And you can have it on these uh, three colors. Uh, Okay. Available on stock, uh, and this is also but a secondary color. Okay, lovely. And so, what is the retail price for this one as it is? As it is, uh, is uh, 4,000 mm -hmm. euro plus uh, 400 euro. the euros for the, for the fitting yes, on the uh, back. And the bags is always including in the bike. Oh, fantastic. And how many gears do you have on here? Uh, eight gears mm -hmm. Nexus Premium. Brilliant. 4,000, that's a good price. Yes, uh, very, very reasonable. Yes. Brilliant. Thank well, you. thank you, Francesco. Okay. That was great. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for your interview. Thank you. Trago. Trago. Okay. Trago. And it's your design? No, it's my partner's design. Okay. It's from Israel, Ophir. Yeah. Design for Fantastic. And now we're slowly but surely starting to enter the market. Take the trolley back. Right? Yeah. And I'm going to just lift the bike, mm -hmm. bringing it back, bringing it back, and then I'll just. That's it. That's it. And, and it I locks. come over here. Wow. Done. Now we've got the issue with the with the front brake. Mm -hmm. There's no front brake. But the trolley itself has two disc brakes down there. Wow. Right? And the disc brake handlebar is right here. Okay, so you see. Yeah, but what we've got is, it's not like we're gonna ask you, you're driving here, we're not gonna ask you to go down here and touch it, right? Yeah. What you're gonna do is you can take it off, mm -hmm. and you've got this adapter up here. And you, you pop it in. Plug it in there, wow. close it, and you've got complete control over the, uh, the bike. Now, this is practical, super practical. You've got your cargo bike, mm -hmm. but nobody's gonna buy it if it's not fun to ride. Yeah. So what we've done is tilting wheels. Oh, nice. And yeah. Now you're carving. We now you're it bike carving. Now you're cooking on gas. Right? You see, <laughs> see So this is the kind gentleman who is going to let me have a go of his brand new Milan SL. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick John. Nice to meet you. It looks awesome in orange. Awesome. Yeah. So this is Martin's Milan SL, uh, um, and uh, he has just purchased this and he's about to whiz off home in it, and I'm about to go for a spin in it. I've never ridden a Milan SL before and I'm really excited. And what a beautiful machine! Let's go! <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> First time in a Ma uh, Milan SL, and I'll tell you something, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> so fast and effortless. Wow. Oh dear.
I need another bank loan. <laughs> <laughs> I blame Martin. Yeah, it's fantastic. I was wearing uh, no shoes at all, socks, and the thing's flying. Imagine if I had my, uh, my look pedals and my shoes on. It's phenomenal. Wow, you've chosen very well. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, awesome. Thanks for letting me ride it. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. You could put this here. I was trying to work that out. I, I thought there was a magnet and I, I couldn't find it to, to stick it on. Then we're going forward and then we turn around and come back. Oh, okay? yeah. And then nice. you can get in. Yeah. This is the Mobike. It's awesome. It's a solar bio hybrid vehicle. Okay. So mm -hmm. that means it works with solar power, most of it. Okay. And it's a two seater, like you see. Mm -hmm. Social seater. It's got pedals because, as well, it's certified as a e pack it's electric pedal assisted cycle. Okay, it's got a range of 50 kilometers with mm -hmm. one battery and 100 with two batteries. And every hour of good sun, you get an extra range of 5 to 10 kilometers. Fantastic. Yep. That's amazing. No, but the best thing of this vehicle is every time you park it, when you come back to it, you got more gas. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, brilliant. Simple. <laughs> what, what more could you ask for? Yeah. Well, even obviously there's, yeah, we're now in Germany now, it's nice, quite sunny, but uh, obviously there is winters which are not sunny, so you can take out the batteries and charge it at home, or you can as well just plug it into a standard plug, the vehicle, like a normal electric car. Brilliant. You don't need, you don't need a special charger, just mm -hmm. a, just the normal mm -hmm. super plug, that's it. And, okay, now we, we pedal now and go faster because... Yeah, that's uh, they've got a hand grip here. <laughs> it's good fun. Okay, so you pull the lever backwards to accelerate. No, no. This is for turning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like in a bicycle, you move it forward, so you go, go left, left, and you move it backwards, yeah. and you go right. Like exactly. my old Velomobile. Yeah. Oh, we've run over a bottle. Yeah. Okay, so. Tell us a little bit about the bike while we, once these guys get up. Do you want to get in? Uh, yeah, what do you reckon, Zach? Yeah, it's fast. <laughs> it's basically a car. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed it and um, I love the sound. It's got doors. Of the sound. I like the oh. sound. It's got doors. Yeah, the doors are at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are running on the sound version. Oh, I love it. Solar version, yeah. How much does the Mobike sell for? 4,980. Uh, 4, Brilliant. Wow. <laughs> Visit our website. <laughs> yes, and uh, your website is called evovelo.com. Evovelo.com. Yeah, it's, it's, it's here. here. Yeah, yeah. Evovelo.com. Two batteries in this one. Yeah. One, one battery is a standard. The second one is an it's optional awesome. extra. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, reverse gear. Can yeah, you yeah. demonstrate? Yeah. Here. Oh, yes. Bye bye. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Amazing. Now this is the Mobike and it has two solar panels. Uh, what's the wattage of the solar panels on the roof? Okay, we've got two solar panels, mm -hmm. 100 watts each one. So that obviously they are not flat and fully oriented. Yeah. So they produce between 180 watts to 80 watts. The medium is around 100 watts. Okay. That's or a bit more. Depends. Yeah. Obviously on the orientation and yeah. how much sun and the temperature and many other things. Yeah. But oh, yeah, easy to understand. One hour of good sun, you get five to ten kilometer extra. Perfect. Ah, okay. Fantastic. And this is the Mobike. So, yes, we're here at the ICE booth with Chris, Indeed. the main man from ICE. And um, he's just going to show me around a few of the models. Uh, I rode the Adventure... No, you rode the Sprintex. The Sprintex today, which was phenomenal. I didn't want to give it back and I loved it. Um, the step system 
It's really smooth, the gear change, it's a brilliant bike and uh, you, well, I reviewed it as I was riding it so you guys will know anyway. But let's see what else they've got here. Okay, take us around, Chris. Okay, so here we have the VTX. Yeah. And this is one of the fastest, I assume. This is, this, this is what the current world champion rides. <laughs> Um, here for the first time in this new matte black get-up. So uh, with its new Stunning. race wheels, it's a real speed machine. One of the really nice things I like about this is not just about speed, it's comfort as well. Yeah. It's a really, really comfortable. It doesn't have suspension, the frame really soaks up the vibration. So beautiful, fast, comfortable, long distance machine. You've got a 26 inch on the back by looks of things. 700 C on the back, mate. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, yes. Now you're cooking. <laughs> <laughs> no compromises on speed here. Brilliant. It looks beautiful in the black. Yeah. Yeah, it does look pretty stunning, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, uh, that's something that you'll have seen all, all around the show is how recumbents are. The look of recumbents has really moved yeah, on. Taken in the a last huge few step years. forward. Yeah. And uh, looks wise, now we're comparable with any, any road bike that mm -hmm. you'll, you'll see anywhere. You can't be comfortable on a recumbent if the seat wow. don't fit. So we've actually got, we worked out, we've actually got 12 seats yep. that we offer. Uh -huh. um, and we brought a selection of seven of them here just to give people a little chance to we'll rest their little, legs, which you can do in a minute. These guys are uh, relaxing there on the seats, just give you a quick view. Um, yeah. Wow. So, Beautiful. The one of note is the, the very latest Sprint X. Mm -hmm. Seat. This is the new seat cover that we've developed for. Ah, oh, this is the one that was on the bike high road. Yeah. Yeah. Super comfortable. Yeah, I can yeah. vouch for that. Yeah. And holds you in place because I was hurtling around the corners and sliding and everything, and it's. Yeah. It does what a trike seat needs to do. Yeah. 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 Very good seat. Yeah. Gone for white walls. A bit of a bold move. But Ooh. Retro street. A bit, bit, bit of a bit of bit of retro going on here, just for a bit of a laugh. I mean, obviously, we're all about customization and building the machine to the customer spec. Mm -hmm. So if white walls is your thing, we can do your white walls. Wow. Uh, so that's there on an Adventure HD with the seat riser. Okay. Nice and easy to get on off. A real, real comfort cruiser that one. Yeah. Here we have an Adventure. It's Shimano Step 6100 motor. Lovely. Yeah. You got the bars here for getting in and, and out. The, the helping handles for. For those for whom climbing in and out of recovery like is uh, as easy as it once was. I like the elbow rests as well, they have a nice touch. Yeah, they, 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 they're a nice little uh, wrist rest, oh, sorry. Yeah, look, launched those last year and they, they've proved to be very popular. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things you don't think you need it until you try it and you suddenly go, do you know what? These are really nice. <laughs> are they 90s on them? Yeah, these are the new the 90 mil drums. We're now kind of moving over to those as our standard drum brake. Okay. Uh, a little bit more power than the 70s and not a great weight penalty. And this starts at about 3,490 euros. Indeed. Yeah, Indeed. fantastic. For the, for the basic spec machine. Yeah, and then you should spec uh, it how you this like. This one is, uh, as we see it here, this is sitting at about seven and a half thousand euros. Yeah. With all the all the trimmings, and yeah. The, the motors and all that jazz. Okay. So uh, yeah, done enough for the show, mm -hmm. as you'd expect. And then over here we have the the beast of Bodmin. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, equipped here with a Shimano E8000 motor. Let's have a look. So a really nice punchy motor for helping you over those crazy off-road obstacles. It's got the roll-off 14-speed XL mm -hmm. hub in the back, so no issues changing gear. Racks for carrying all the luggage you could ever require. Mm -hmm. Wow. And of course, a pair of flags. Yes. You've uh, got to do the twin flags. Yeah, yeah. Gives it that, that profile. Yeah, beautiful. What size are the tyres on this? So these are 4.8 inch tyres. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Nice big floaty tyres take you across anything. And a nice motor as well. Brilliant. And of course the, the machine you rode, but in its ultimate spec here. Uh, so this is the Sprintex Tour. Roll off hub again. Big rack. The lovely the, seat. The lovely new seat, mm -hmm. complete with its integral bag system uh, again we've got the the uh, this is the I think this is an 8000 motor again in here but they're both very very similar just one's a little punchier than the other yeah 
Beautiful Shimano XT double sided pedals. Very nice. Just a really nice solid pedal there. Front suspension, the mud guards, the full works, ready, ready for a tour. Cracking bike. Thanks very much, Chris. Well, thank you. Beautiful very machines, much. and thanks for taking me around and showing me what you do. Welcome. You're welcome. Lovely. Thank you. Okay, I've now jumped across into the HP Velotechnic booth, <laughs> and we've got Heiko here, Hi there. Velo HP Velotechnic, and he's just going to show us a few th new things they have and things that we think you guys may be interested in at home. So, over to you, Heiko. Okay. Uh, this year we implemented the flash design on the Scorpions as well, so with the with the new logo and these uh, these design elements and the bed. And as you see, um, we added some, some new scanner colors. The FS20 comes with uh, this bright, bright yellow. Mm -hmm. um, we also had a bunch of this, those more subtle colors um, as the second standard color, so you can choose between a very bright and very mm -hmm. colorful color okay. and a more subtle gray, matte gray. Yeah. It has some nice uh, matte matte options, matte uh, color options. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have the track here, but uh, for instance, the FS26 comes in a, in a pure orange matte. Beautiful. It's really, really nice. Yeah. And the surface is still, still um, even with the matte colors, the surface still mm -hmm. is uh, smooth. Okay. So um, the problem with matte colors is that they get dirty very quick. Yeah, they collect. Um, it's quite nice, soft by our powder coat. Steps E5000 system. Oh, okay. Um, what to say about the Steps E5000? It is a very light, very compact, mm -hmm. um, not so costly, and very, 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 very silent uh, motor system. So, at, in addition to the um, performance E8000 system, we have this very smooth running E5000 mm -hmm. and both of our steps options are combined with the uh, with two shifting options. On this track we have the automatic uh, Nexus Di2 8 gear automatic shift. Um, you can also choose it with a basic uh, derailleur gearing and also ge a Gears X4, Shimano X4. Uh, the Steps 8000 system can be combined with a Roloff, which uh, many of you will, I'd consider to be very, yeah. very nice. Yeah. Um, the alternative would be an XT Di2 electric shifting, 11 mm -hmm. gears, um, which is a high-end uh, derailleur gearing, of course. Fantastic. So, Steps E5000, which was announced for February, is here now for some weeks and we saw it first in speed seas, so Wow, so it's the first time for everyone to see this. Yeah. Uh, Steps E5000. Yes. Debut. Uh, yeah, one good thing is um, if you choose, if you're up for one of our step systems, the mount is the same, so we can just change it. Yeah. Wow. And all our, all our uh, motor systems are retrofitable as well. Wow. And uh, the price point for a for Steps E5000 um, on a new trike would be mm -hmm. 1,790 euros. One other thing yeah. you might may you want to talk about is of course um, the Swiss Drive. Okay. As you um, as you heard, the Swiss Drive uh, is in liquidation. Mm -hmm. um, one one important thing about this is. Uh, that is not because they're bankrupt or anything. No, it's just a strategic decision of the mother company, mm -hmm. which is a big, big automotive uh, supplier. And and first, when first heard it, we were surprised, of course. And mm -hmm. so the first thought was, can we offer the system again? Um, we made a very decisive point on that. Um, we are convinced of the concept of a rear hub motor mm -hmm. on, on trikes. It's, uh, it has so many advantages that we definitely want to have it. Mm -hmm. And um, we decided to offer the Ghost Star system throughout the whole model year. Um, based on the fact that um, the Ortling House Group, which is the mother company of Ghost Swiss Drive, mm -hmm. uh, assured that in the midterm, and this will mean for years, um, can offer support and supply. Brilliant. We, uh, the last order so we have uh, quite a stash of systems on stock so you're not going to run out anytime soon also we are able to uh, give support and supply mm -hmm. as good as we can mm -hmm. and um, so everything you know, HP Velotechnic we uh, 
we care about the quality of our products, mm -hmm. and so we can offer this with. We thought about it and can offer it with, uh, with a good, good mind. Um, if you already have it, because this drive mm -hmm. motor system, there's no reason to panic. There's no reason mm -hmm. to be uh, worried, yeah. afraid, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, there will be there will be support and supply by a dealer. Uh, via HP Velotechnic and via Group Ottinghaus, the mother company of this display. Brilliant. Yeah, thanks for clarifying that. that yeah, for it, making it clear for all the all your all your fans and customers. Uh, awesome. Well, thanks very much, Heiko. And uh, as always, very professional. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. you. Too. <laughs> <laughs>